Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome, friends of precious metals. Welcome, friends of sound money. And of course, welcome Bill Murphy and James Turk. My name is Peter Böhringer and I'm your host for the evening. In the name of Deutsche Edelmetallgesellschaft, let me officially open the stage for this very special DEG event. <laughs> when in September of 2010, we first came up with the idea of a Gata evening with Bill Murphy in Europe, our main concern was how can we best transfer our main point, gold silver prices are suppressed for political reasons. This seemed somewhat tricky in an environment of steadily rising but actually rather unspectacular gold and silver price movements. This is what the charts looked like back then. We were asking ourselves, how can we deliver our convictions about sound money to the audience? How can we bring across our message? The silver and gold prices have been suppressed for a very long time. How can we explain that this manipul manipulation is real and of course unnatural, but at the same time it is obviously so hard to end? Otherwise, the prices would have gone ballistic a long time ago. How can we prove there is a manipulation at all? How can we present to you all the evidence, especially Gata has compiled over the years? Should we actually bring Bill Murphy to Europe after seven years he had not been speaking here? Would he be credible with his message, which is complex to prove? Well, the world has changed quite a lot in the meantime. Next slide, please. Initially, it has changed only silently and unspectacularly <laughs> since around 2004. Critics of paper money, gold bucks, and especially those claiming that gold silver prices are manipulated have moved from being ignored to being ridiculed to being fought. And uh, it is only now, in April 2011, that their message is finally beginning to be, be believed. And obviously, these charts have something to do with that, even though they are just um, a signal and, of course, not the root cause why, uh, <coughs> of what we're talking about here. Especially in the course of the last three years since the financial crisis and the crazy US debt monetization policies and the insane banking and country bailouts in Europe um, since 2008, the sound money message became more and more credible even in serious economic circles, banking circles, and I know that we have quite a few investment managers and bankers sitting around tonight here. And even the manipulation claim has been gaining a lot of credibility, especially for silver, since the autumn of 2010. Obviously, something has indeed changed, and the price suppression in the precious metal markets no longer seems to be working. I am claiming here that to quite some extent, Bill Murphy's untiring public work during his 13 gutter years has been one of the most important reasons for this development. We are finally seeing since 2001, accelerated after 2008, and even more accelerated since September of 2010. The claim of a gold-silver price suppression has been ridiculed in the mainstream media as a conspiracy theory until around September of 2010. Today, April 11, the M-word, manipulation, appears in big letters in the media for the first time since the artificial price suppression began in the 1990s. And I'm not talking about uh, the headlines we're currently seeing uh, where the mainstream already talks about a long-term, manip uh, a long-side manipulation. I'm still talking about the short-side manipulation of the market. Many fund managers, investors and small people alike therefore are finally asking themselves the relevant questions for the precious metal markets which had been beyond their imagination and consideration up until very recently. And even though I have no detailed insights into what James and Bill will be talking about in their speeches, I believe we will hear expert answers and educated opinions on questions, for example these, is this it? Are we currently seeing the end of the price suppression? How much have we seen already? How long can this explosive uptrend continue? Is there any other explanation for the price movements, especially for silver? Can the price manipulators strike back? What means do they still have at their disposal? How far will the price of gold and the price of silver um, have to go to reach equilibrium of supply and demand? How and when can we know that a new equilibrium has been reached? Or can there be an equilibrium target price at all in a fiat money environment? 
we all know that there probably will not be the one static equilibrium price in a world where fiat money is printed every day in amounts exceeding five billion dollars a day in the US alone. Next slide please. We will probably also discuss uh, questions like can silver continue to outperform even gold? More than 100% of outperformance need to be explained since August 2010 only. So we're talking about a development of nine months coming from a gold-silver price ratio of 65 to I think 32 as we're speaking now. And by the way, we have just reached 1550 gold. <laughs> 